Well, hello there. It's Beards and Bangers, and today I'm with my friend James, and we're going to be attempting to program a new key fob for his MGF uh, using P-Scan. Um, so I'm hoping this is going to work. Beards and Bangers. So what is P-Scan? P-Scan is literally, I've shown this fairly recently, it's this module. So there's a guy called Philip, he invented it. Um, it plugs into a Windows laptop and you can do various things. You can diagnose faults, you can, you can actually remap a car. But today we're going to try and reprogram a key, or program a key. So I'm going to get set up and we'll, we'll go through it step by step. So if any of you are wanting to do this, you can maybe, hopefully I'm going to get this right. We, we've got no guarantee this is going to work, but fingers crossed it will. So here is, here is the car in question inside of it. Uh, here's the P-Scan interface, so we're going to be programming them a key, so that'll be alarm, immobiliser and body. Um, I think it's a 5AS. Can I have, a, have you got the fob there, James? Yes, I'm pretty sure this is the, the Lucas 5AS, so we're going to scan through that. Immobiliser FOB programming. We'll do instructions first. So warning, Pro programming Immobiliser FOBs delete all existing FOBs in memory. Therefore, all the FOBs that are required to work with the vehicle must be present and working before starting the process. So we've got the original FOB here. Make sure that the 5AS can sound the horn using the horn test feature first. So let's do that. I didn't hear a horn. Ah. ah. Let's just turn the ignition on. That would suggest to me that the test tool is working. We'll turn the music down. So horn circuit test passed. Then proceed to learn immobiliser fobs as follows. Test the horn circuit, done that. Press fob learning button press again to confirm wait for the prompt that the 5AS is listening for immobiliser fobs for each fob press the lock button once per second until the horn sounds typically the lock button will need to be pressed approximately eight times repeat for all the fobs which require to work on the vehicle so we'll, we'll, you will do the old one as well uh, turn the ignition off and on, test each fob to see if it arms and disarm, disarms the alarm immobiliser. So, we'll start fob learning, press start learning again to confirm, we'll turn the car off as well, wait six seconds it's saying, wait for slow initialisation. I really hope this goes well. So it's doing something. Wait six seconds, two seconds, one second. What do we just press next? I don't know. I don't think we do. Make sure we have got a connection. Yeah, we've got a connection because the P scan module is illuminated. Oh, here we are. SAS 5AS now listening for immobiliser fobs. Press the lock button, which is that one, isn't it, James? That's lock. I never remember that. Pretty sure that's lock. Press the lock button on the first fob once per second until the horn sounds. Typically, around eight presses will be required. Once the horn has sounded, repeat the process for each fob in turn. Right, let's try it then. That would suggest to me that this fob is working. So let's now get the original, let's get the original fob, which you can't see, that's there. So that's the second fob work, working. So now we press stop fob learning, fob learning, switch the ignition off and then on again.
and I think that's it. So well, th this is the, now the acid test. We'll take those keys out. Yep. If I hand them to James, I'm going to jump out without tripping over, which is quite something. So we will see if this fob actually locks the car. Right, one MGF, one Lucas Plectron. you yep, me. right you if I'm gonna so lock unlock let's now see if the car starts if I grab the the key we'll no, see. This, is, this will be the acid test yes we're gonna get the the key and uh, hopefully I've not broken someone's car make sure we're in neutral Let's see. Nope, oh, let's get this to. I would say that works. So, we've done it. We've programmed a new key using P scan. I haven't broken my friend's car because that would be an expensive mistake. But uh, there we are. Quick video, another P scan feature shown to you by Beards and Bangers. Um, going to be plenty of bits coming up so do subscribe if you want to see what's happening with the streetwise the various zt's and more p-scan action thanks to james for letting me have a fiddle with his car i've done him a favor because he's now got a spare remote for his mgf which we will do a video on when he's finished restoring it and i'll see you again very soon on the next episode of beards and bangers goodbye <laughs>